Hello once again everybody, this is Tobin Industrial and today we are looking at a Uniden BC796D I've done a, a video on this uh, scanner before uh, if you watched the video previously you discovered that I was unable to communicate with the scanner uh, through the computer to do my firmware update well I'm uh, really at uh, a loss to explain <laughs> what has happened uh, just recently I uh, purchased um, a serial cable which is a uh, DB9 it is R232 it goes from uh, male to female of course and I made several attempts with that new cable to communicate with the scanner and it kept getting a communication error I was also using a uh, USB to serial port cable which I'll show you now in the uh, the next uh, section here uh, and that also would not communicate I do want you to listen to this noise when I plug this into the USB port you know there's two different notes that you'll hear I don't know if you'll hear it, but here I go plugging it in that's three beeps three monotone beeps when I unplug it sounds normal uh, when you plug in a USB plug it should be up pitch uh, a low note and a high note to follow to, to indicate that it's making connection and when you disconnect it should make a high pitch to a low pitch note to let you know it's being disconnected uh, I was able to get the, this USB cable to actually uh, be recognized I, I got the driver for it and it was downloaded and it would accept that I, I was using a USB port in the back of my computer and you could tell because you'd hear the low pitch and the high pitch so it was accepting that but it would not communicate with the scanner and uh, in using the serial port cable same problem uh, unable to communicate with the scanner however on the last attempt which was uh, a day or so ago I noticed at this one point it actually looked like it was going to work maybe hard to say but I did see the word that I never seen before in the, when it was communicating in that part where it might have been communicating erasing and the erasing word was flashing and it flashed for probably four or five times in a brief uh, two to three seconds and then that was a communication error then all hell broke loose and I ended up with a, a firmware update which created a paperweight out of my scanner right now I'll give you a demonstration I'll turn the power on and if you may see this in the screen it'll light up just briefly and then cut out now if I press and hold I think the whole button let me see if I can get the screen to come on no, it's scan low and six which is difficult to do mind you with a runaway scanner anyway there is a way that I can make the screen light up but uh, obviously the keyboard is functional but the scanner is now in what I would say a sleep mode or it's in firmware mode and since the this um, this has happened and I'm not be able to not able to communicate with my scanner I now have a paperweight whereas before I could scan my digital frequencies although the squelch was not working that's why I wanted to do the firmware update the squelch would not work on the two digital frequencies I was scanning it was like a carrier and if you review my previous um, video you'll, you'll see that there's a demonstration of that so right now I'm at a loss I have a um, um, a gentleman in uh, the States United States who, s who owns two of these and some other uh, similar scanners and he's at this point communicating back and forth with me and trying to give me an idea as to what to do basically what it comes down to now my YouTube friends is I have to be able to communicate with the scanner in order to get the scanner to work if I cannot communicate with the scanner it remains a paperweight I'm at a loss as to what I could do different I've checked uh, the COM ports the serial ports you know all that different kind of things and I actually I've been through so much with programming downloading uploading deleting and reinstalling and doing this that and the other thing following the directions of other people 
And mind you, they all had the best intentions in mind. And it made perfect sense, the instructions, but it was to no avail. And I question why does a firmware update have to be so difficult? And I done some research online, and uh, I'm not the only one that's had this trouble. This happened before. Uh, I think it's probably my best bet would say um, it's a programming problem. It was uh, poorly designed, probably. I'm not knocking Uniden because I have some Uniden products here, and uh, actually quite a, quite, a, quite a few pieces of gear that's made by Uniden, and I've I've got no particular issue with Uniden. But uh, in this regard, there is a glitch or glitches. And if I cannot communicate, I couldn't communicate with the scanner before, and I've been at this for months, and I've tried different cables. I've actually tried one USB to serial and two um, serial cords, and nothing works. I tried uh, from my laptop to USB. That didn't work. And as I mentioned, I've uploaded it and downloaded it and deleted it and reload it. Did all that software, that firmware stuff. The VUP software I'm referring to, and uh, nothing seems to work. I did communicate with Uniden, and uh, their only um, assistance would be to send them the scanner. They'll repair it and send it back. But I've done some more research, and apparently they'll only put it on the bench, hook it up to the scanner, uh, run it through some tests, and uh, if it's up and running, they'll send it back. Not exactly sure if they could upload the latest firmware and send it back. However, a gentleman, who shall rename nameless for for the time being, is um, has made an, an offer uh, to take the scanner uh, and uh, work on it. I'm not saying there's going to be 100 guaranteed he could fix it, but I'm I'm quite confident he could. But I have to pay the shipping into the United States and back. Of course, he shouldn't have to. Of course, I should have to bear that financial. Uh, situation but um, we have the border to uh, contend with and customs so it may say, take some time to get there and may take some time to get back we'll have to insure it in case it's lost have a tracking number okay um, sorry about that I ran out of memory on the chip so I had to download that first get the first part and upload it to my computer now doing the second section okay right now I have the scanner up above here in firmware mode it's uh, firmware mode I should say excuse me um, it's on it's to the point where I was trying to upload the firmware and I'll show you what I'm doing here just a brief demonstration I go into start menu and I am looking for Uniden and uh, this is BC I 96 D VUP dash underscore one V one underscore zero three. We click on that, and uh, this says uh, guide firmware update for version one point zero three. Please wait a few seconds uh, after pressing OK. So we'll click OK, and we have uh, another small little window here stating uh, COM port, and in brackets it says P. Uh, don't know what that means. Anyway, it's a firmware update for version 1.03. I click start mm -hmm. and it says check that the BCI96D in brackets APCO card is mounted into the scanner and it is. Connect your scanner to the PC using a uh, standard PC interface cable. Yes, that's done. Important. Keep your scanner connected to external power until you complete the procedure. Done. Turn off the scanner, then hold down hold manual manual while you turn on the scanner. That's the point that I did put the screen in dark mode, in, in firmware mode, what I what I now call paperweight mode. Uh, it says the scanner display remains blank. This is normal. When you are ready, click the OK to begin. And this is uh, what happens to me. Oh, this must be like probably at least the 200th time. Here we go. Progress. Communication error. 
three exclamation points behind it besides that's not good one would be bad three is really bad please check the following things maybe you can read that not sure highly doubt it connect your scanner to a PC using the standard PC interface cable that's done check and select the COM port number for your connection which is COM port 1 check that the scanner and the Apple card is uh, the sorry the Apple card is connected yep the debt keep your scanner connected to external power that is done and the same old thing hold manual now there are several ways of uh, putting it in firmware mode uh, one way uh, is by holding down the scan lockout and six buttons while turning it on another way is by just holding the manual and there's a couple of other ways that it can be done. I think it's by holding down lockdown and six, or lockout and six, I should say. There's probably three or four different ways that this can be done, and I've done that. I've done it the three or four different ways according to the different instructions that I ran across. Okay, we we'll exit this, and uh, I have this uh, saved in documents, I believe. Um. Here it is. The, this is the actual program right here. This is the bc uh, underscore vup underscore v2 dot uh, zero dot zero seven. That's something to do with uh, the programming. Is either information or it's the actual window. Uh, I know what this is. Um, here we go. Could have went right here. This is the other way that can be done. It says uh, print, select OK to do the scan uh, the scanner firmware file. And I do that, and I ask where it's to, and uh, I go find it. Not a problem. And uh, here we are, right here. Open it. Let's do it. Let's make this thing happen. Com one. Let's put this down to 38, just in case. What the hell? Okay, let's do it. Connecting. And this is where I was to. It said erasing, 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 and then it came up with a communication error. Same thing again. Okay. I also have this downloaded. That's set up. Uh, every time I come in here, I have to click it to 96 because that's the scanner baud rate. COM port 1, and uh, it's 796D. I accept that. This is the database uh, program here for when you want to upload from, uh, download from uh, Radio Reference and upload to your computer, to your scanner, I should say, excuse me. And uh, this is the actual scanner uh, controls. Communication error again. Hmm. Please check the remote settings. Anyway, folks, that is enough of this. Uh, I'm going to wait and see if I can get more information and uh, see if I can get this uh, scanner back up and running. Right now it's a paperweight. There's no paper under it now, but I will put paper into it uh, underneath it very shortly. Anyway, I don't think you're getting a very good focus on that, so why don't we just come on back down here. I'd like to thank you folks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, if you have any ideas, please uh, leave a comment uh, or a suggestion. Maybe that's what I should do.